it's our friendly neighborhood VTuber. So we are again with a new tutorial. So by now, most of you guys have noticed that the new stable Vroid was released a couple of weeks ago. And you guys have been sending me questions after that, asking how does the workflow from Vroid to Blender and then back into Unity work now, because the Springborn copy no longer works with the new Vroid. Now, there's a very simple reason why everything breaks, and the reason is that the new Vroid uses two long bone names, and Blender cannot handle those, so Blender will rename your bones when you import your model there. So to fix this step, we are going to need to add one additional step to this workflow, and today I'm going to show you guys the whole workflow of exporting your model from Vroid taking it first into Unity, then taking it to Blender, and then taking it back into Unity, and then finally getting it in VC phase and have everything working correctly. So, if you guys have not watched my previous tutorials, I recommend you check some of those out, especially to see how to prepare your Unity project, because I'm not going to go through that today. We are also going to be needing lots of different uh, uh, assets and plugins today. All the links are in the description down below. Do get them from there. Um, we will also be using Unity 2019.4.30 today. Uh, if you're watching this video much later, you may need to use a different version. We're also using UniVRM 0.66, which is kind of the standard at the time of making this tutorial. It may have changed also by the time you're viewing this. If you want to know the latest one, do join my Discord. Uh, the link is in the description as well, and you can ask what is the current version you need to get. Anyway, let's get started with the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so let's say we have a very basic model done in Vroid, and we want to take this to Blender. So the first thing you need to do is export the model as a VRM file from Vroid. So click on this icon up here, select the export as VRM, and after that you will need to fill in the details. So when you are doing these selections, as always, do select them based on what you're planning on doing. Usually you shouldn't use the delete transparent meshes because this will prevent you from editing some specific textures later on. So let's not select that one. And you also do not want to reduce the bones for now. Materials you probably shouldn't be reducing, but you can combine the hair meshes. Okay, so anyway, let us export this file. And uh, Fill in the details. Okay, so the next step for us is to actually bring this model into Unity. For this, we will need to download a new asset. So we will get into that next. Okay, so the very first step is to go to the address in description, suvitreal.com. And when you arrive to the website, scroll all the way down until you find the tutorial assets part of the site. And in here you should see the Vroid Bone Renamer. Just click that one and save it somewhere on your computer. Okay, so we will also need to pick a specific version of Univere. Make sure you download the version 0.66. So when you arrive to the Univere website linked in the description, you will see that there are a lot of newer versions. Do not download those. Go and find this 0.66 version from the list. It may be relatively far, possibly even on some much previous page. Most of these newer versions are pre-releases, so they're not very stable to be used. The 0.66 is still the most stable version to be used. So once you find it, simply download it and save it somewhere. So, now that your Unity project is open, the first thing we will need to do is drag in the UniVRM that we just downloaded. So simply drag that UniVRM asset package into your project, and then import everything. And the next step, we can import our model into the scene. So, once Unity has finished processing, let's create a new folder and call it Avatars. And next, let us drag the new VRM file that we just created in Vroid to here. 
and then you need a build process for a while again. Okay, now that our avatar has been imported, we need to drag in the new Vroid Bone Renamer asset package that we downloaded earlier. So simply drag that into your project next. And then import everything. Now, if everything has worked out correctly, you should now have this Bone Renamer option here on your menu bar. So, the next step is to drag our avatar to the scene hierarchy. So let's simply drag and drop it to the scene hierarchy like so. And let's open up our character like so and select the root node. And the next step we need to do is run the Bone Renamer application. Make sure that the root is selected when you do this. So click on Bone Renamer, Rename Bones. This will open up a dialog where you need to specify a new bone prefix. This is basically what the bone will be renamed to if the name is too long, and then a number will be added after it. So let's simply call it long bone and rename bones. And then if everything went correctly, it should say bones renamed and then, okay, cool. Now we can double check it by opening the bone structure all the way to our hair bones to see if they have actually been renamed. And as you can see, the very long hair bone names have been renamed to long bones and so on. And the next step we need to do is export this model. So now, from now on, this model that we will be exporting now will serve as our so-called original model. So whenever I'm talking about original model, I mean this version that we exported from Unity as the first step. So let's do that next. Click on the VRM and then export UniVRM 0.66. And now we need to fill in any extra details if needed and then click export and save it somewhere. Okay, so for the next step, we should clean up our Unity project a little bit. So now that we have exported this model, we should re-import it just to be on the safe side. So we can remove our avatar from the scene hierarchy first and then delete the whole avatars folder, like so. And after this, we can create a new avatars folder, but this time let's call it original. And then re-import the model we just exported to here. And after that, the next step for us is to launch up Blender. Now in the previous tutorials, we did install the plugin, but uh, since this is like the new workflow, I think we will go through how to install the VRM plugin to Blender again. So launch up your browser and go to the link in the description. Okay, so once you arrive to the website of the VRM add-on for Blender, simply scroll down and you should see the download add-on button here. Click that one and save it somewhere. And uh, if you scroll down a little bit more, you will see instructions on how to install this. Now I will be using the Blender 2.8 for this. If you're using a newer version, I think the technique is still pretty much the same. So now let us launch a Blender and try to install it in the way that is described here. Okay, so once you have Blender open, go to the Edit and then Preferences. And then in the dialog that pops up, we will need to install the new plugin. So first make sure that you have the community and testing selected. I can't remember which part it was, but make sure that all of these are selected. And click on the install button. And now in the dialog that pops up, point it to the zip file that we just downloaded. Once you have found the add-on, simply click on Install Add-on button. And uh, now this will bring the Import Export VRM format available for us. Now, if you don't have this, of course, popping up right away, you may need to type in here VRM. And then to find the latest one. Here I have the old version already installed. So I'm going to uninstall that so we have the exact same version available for us. 
and next next it should be done so let's close this one and let's see now we should have a VRM option here as an import possibility so next step let's remove everything in the scene first before we get started so simply delete the three objects the camera cube and light we do not need those and then go to file import VRM and then import the model we just exported from Unity. So the original file or the new original file. And uh, then let it blend our process for a while. Okay, now we have our model. And as you can see, the new Vroid models do look a way bit different from the other ones. Seems like they have all these multiple layers. So, we are not going to be doing any edits to our model in this tutorial. I have previous tutorials where we go through different parts of how to edit the model in Blender. Do check those out if you're interested in that. Now we are simply going to continue on how to get our model back to Unity and then into VRM format again. So the VRM export of the VRM add-on for Blender is very bad. So we will not be using that instead. We will be saving our file as a blend file. Now you could also export it as an FBX file. It's totally up to you. I prefer to use the blend file because it allows easy editing even after you have exported it and imported it into Unity. So I'm gonna click the save as and then I'm gonna save it somewhere like so. And now once you have saved it as a blend file, the next step is to get back to Unity and then we will import this to Unity. So let's do that next. Okay, so now that we are back in Unity, let's create a new folder to the main asset level and let's call it Blender. So this will be the folder where we will put the files that we get from Blender. And now let's simply drag in the Blend file. Now this could of course be an FBX file if you use that format, but we are using the Blend file. So drag that in and let Unity process for a bit. Okay, now that our model has imported, select it, and we need to go through some of the settings here. So the first thing you see when you come to the model, do click on the Legacy Blend Shape Normals and click off the Weld Vertices. This will make it so that our blend shapes do not start to look weird. And next, let's click the Apply button and then Unity will process for a bit again. Okay, next step, let's go to the rig. So click on the rig tab and from the animation type, let's select humanoid like so. And we need to click apply again. Okay, next step is to click the configure button and then do click the save, of course. Okay. Now that we have our model open here in the configuration, let's make sure that all the bones are correct. If you're using a Vroid model, they should be mostly correctly set here. But we may need to click on the head and then go to the jawbone and remove that. So select it and click delete. For some reason, Unity always seems to assign one of the hair bones to the jawline. So that needs to be removed. You can also check that your hands are looking correct. And once you have done that, click on done and then click on apply and let the Unity process again. Okay, so now that we have gotten this far, the next step for us is to get the Vroid Springbone copy asset. So let's go download that next. The link to that has been put in the description as well. And once you arrive to the website, simply click on the topmost download button and download it somewhere on your computer. Okay, so the next step for us is to import the VRM Springbone asset that we just downloaded. So simply drag that into your assets folder and import it all. And uh, once Unity has processed, we should now have a new menu item here called VRM and under that we have Springbone copy. Okay, so what do we do next? Next step for us is to, of course, get our new model into VRM format. 
So you now have still the blend file here. Let's drag that into our scene hierarchy, like so. And uh, we should export our model as a VRM file before we start to do anything else with it. Now, of course, you could already adjust the textures, but we can do this after we have exported it in the VRM file. So, now that your model is in scene hierarchy, select it, go to VRM0, export UniVRM 0.66. And now we need to fill in all the details here. So, write some kind of title and all the other required fields, and then click export and save it somewhere. Okay, now that your model has been saved, you need to remove this Blender model from the scene hierarchy. So simply remove that one. And next step for us is to import the model we just exported. So let's create a new folder again. And let's call this avatars. So now this will be our new model. So let's import the model we just exported here and let Unity process for a little bit. Okay, now that Unity has stopped processing, we will need to drag in the new model to the scene hierarchy. So simply drag and drop. And as you can see, it is appearing without the materials. So what we want to do now is we want to copy the materials from our original model to this one. So simply open up the model, select the body, and you will see that it is pointing to these specific material names here. So what we want to do now is we want to go to our original models materials folder, like so. And now simply drag and drop the same material name to replace the ones in this new model. Now this will take a while, but simply just do it one by one. And once you're done with the body, the next step is to go through the face and then finally the hair. If you did not combine your hairs, then you will have a lot of different hair meshes that you need to go through. But since we combined them, we only have one hair. Okay, now we're basically done with the materials. So at this point, you could simply select your avatar, click on the overrides and apply all, just to make sure that these material things are now saved to your VRM file. Okay, so now if you were to export your model at this time, you would notice that it would work, but the Springbone physics would not be there. So to fix this, we downloaded the Springbone copy application. So the next step for us is to drag in our original model to the scene hierarchy. So drag that one in like so. So now we have both of them in here. And what we basically want to do is we want to copy these to here. And the way to do this is to use the Springbone copy. So select the VRM and then Springbone copy. And uh, in this application, we will need to drag in the models. So, drag in the old model to the first slot, and then the new model to the lower slot. And then click the copy button. And then you will get a message. Okay, now that you have run the application, you will notice that this secondary under our model does actually not have anything. Now the reason is because somewhere along the way our armature changed. So now instead under the armature we have a new secondary bone here. If you select that one, now you will find all of the copied spring bones here. So the next step for us is to export our model and see how it works in VC phase. So select the test model and now again click on the overrides and then apply all. And now we can select our model and export 
Univeran 0.66. Now, of course, when you do it like this, your model will not have any of the original blend shapes in case you made those. So the next step in the tutorial would be to create blend shapes for this new Blender edited model. But now, for now, let's just export this model and save it somewhere. Okay, and now that you have your model open in VC phase, you will notice that the hair physics are working. But as you can see, none of the blend shapes are of course present. So you're going to have to add those in Unity still. And we could probably simply copy our existing blend shapes from the original model. But if you have changed your shape keys or created ARKit, shape keys or something like that, then you will probably want to do them in some other way. But for those who simply want to copy the existing ones, the easiest way to copy them is to simply copy the blend shape avatar from the original model to the new model. And this is very simple to do, luckily. So when you open your original model, you will see the blend shape avatar here. Click on that one. It will point you to the blend shape avatar of the original model. Now we need to drag this blend shape index to our new model to simply copy them. So select on your new model and you should find the same, same component from somewhere in here. And as you can see, it is here. So we're going to drag the old blend shape avatar or the original one on top of the new one, like so. And now you cannot really preview them too well at this specific time. So what you should do now is export the model. So again, apply overrides, then export the model. And uh, then you can try that in VC phase. Now, if you want to edit the blend shapes after this, I recommend you re-import this VRM model because that will make it easier. So let's open up VC phase again and see if it works. Okay. And now once you have your model in VC phase, you can notice that we already have a lip sync and some kind of mouth tracking going on. So everything seems to work just fine. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And remember, if you run into any questions with this, you can join my Discord. The link is down in the description and ask the questions there. We have lots of people in the server who know how to work with all kinds of issues related to Vroid, Unity, as well as Blender there. Anyway, if you like the content, consider subscribing down below as well as smashing that bell button and following me on all those other social medias as well. I do currently stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays on Twitch if you would like to catch me live there or see my setup, feel free to do that. And see you next time, guys. Bye bye.